This week on Clown College. But they they call it special needs now. And and that's what I was I was in the special ed part where you got a little bit of extra <laughs> they put you in the class and you get some extra help <laughs> and stuff. That's yeah, and then I'd have to read to like old people and draw on straight lines. And... You said that exact same thing last time. Yeah. It was I don't think that's in the standards, dude. It was like, I don't yeah. think that's in the standards. And I'd have to be there. Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, to elevate and make it sound polished. So if you want to hear a little honest, few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guests right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Clown <laughs> so this is the first show after the live show mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, 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 yeah uh still recovering dude oh, yeah, that, yeah it was good that was amazing man it was really good thank you everybody for coming too oh yeah, oh, thank, yeah. You guys. thank you guys thank you so much it was a good turnout really good turnout first show <laughs> yeah yeah uh-huh. i didn't know how it was gonna go man i'm yeah, be honest either. with Same. you but it was a good time oh, yeah it was actually a good time when i watched it back when i was editing it up i was like it seems like consistent laughs through the whole thing. Brandon stories went well. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the skit hit. Even oh yeah, we had to put that on there because it it just felt right. Put it in the beginning. Yeah, and gotcha. I cut it. I cut it out the uh, from the from that part. But uh, yeah, uh, sci-fi killed uh, all. Man. The, yeah, oh, every, man. Let's let's just say okay, he did okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. Okay. He came in a little rocky. He was rusty. You could tell. Yeah, you know. But uh, you know, he did fine. Yeah, he did fine. All and that I, semen he's been doing, though, <laughs> it's not good. He's been out there on the waters. <laughs> Come up pressing me, where's our podcast at? I'm like, bitch, we'll be done. <laughs> well, the fuck, I get it done, all right? <laughs> we had a live show to put together. Hell yeah. This guy, dude, pe- unbelievable. Uh, pe- people just, you know, they're uh, ungrateful. Exactly. Was really, was it, really, it, wasn't he talking about this podcast the other week ago, too? Tell him, Brandon. Look at that. Look at that. Talk to him. Look at that. I'm going to talk to him Call right him here. Call him a bitch-ass, bitch-made-ass nigga. Now, you know this is my friend here. I, I can't. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. rich, but, but yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So sci-fi fat ass. And then uh, <laughs> all the bucket pulls uh, killed uh, Hope. Yeah, Hope Murder. did amazing. Hope did really well. well. Those, jokes, yes. Hope. Those, those jokes were, were on time. Yeah, and then and then she pied me in the face, and there were hot dogs. That's what and pie. noodles I found out. Yeah, that's what I didn't see the noodle part. I got the glizzy, you knew it was bro. a hot dog though, right? When when I looked on the ground and saw two raw hot dogs <laughs> covered in shaving cream, dude, I'm like, I wasn't supposed to see those till later tonight. Dude. <laughs> and then they were just there. Yeah, because Alex was like, you guys didn't even notice that there was hot dogs and noodles in there. I, was like, yeah. I had no fucking clue. I didn't either. That was. That threw me off guard when I looked down. I was like, <laughs> "The shaving cream was such a good call." Yeah. Such a good the call. Cream. Did you call that one? No, that was you, dude. No, 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 no. Somebody called it. Maybe it was Alex. I think it was Alex. Maybe. Might have yeah. been. Yeah. It yeah. Been. I mean, dude, that smell of just fucking milk Ooh. in my nose. It wouldn't go away for like two days after Same. that. Mm-hmm. It was terrible. And the, just think of the cleanup on. I I didn't have to wash that uh, tarp right away. But if it had that milk shit on it and sat in my car for a couple of days, oh, dude. Shaving yeah. cream is the way to go if you ever want to pie somebody in the face. Yeah. yeah. We Plus, it dissolves, of, too. So. Yeah. We got to close think your of, eyes. Think of a new uh, thing for this next. We get one in three months. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking Shout out to tank. Kim and Shenanigans, huh? Yeah. I'm thinking Dunk. Yeah, shout out to Kim, Shenanigans. I'm Hell thinking yeah. Dunk Tank for the next one, dude, if we can <laughs> find a way to get that set up. They got that back door. I'm pretty sure Dunk Tank, yeah. dunk tank would fold, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait. You don't think the dunk tank was like dunk tank would fold to get it in through the door? I thought it, it was made out of. Look up a dunk tank, Brandon. Let's see what we're with rent here. a dunk tank. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can. We'll rent do a dunk it right tank. fucking now, man. Uh, yeah. I just want to see what it like if there's one that we can get a hold of. Dunk man. tank rentals. Let's see how much this costs. I don't think we'll be able to get it inside. That's the only thing. Yeah. Oh, so no, that's only. Three hundred dollars, okay. All right. Uh, oh shit, dude, we can make that. Yeah, but I don't know about the mechanism. 
Yeah, but how many people are actually going to hit that circle right there? Like, that's my well, you oh, got to give them like five. You got to oh, give them five, five balls. We're going to have to give them like a basketball or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Comics not really well known for their athletic ability. Yeah, and, and we got to get this pass through Kim to be like, would you like a big bucket of water <laughs> in your studio? <laughs> uh, First of all, who said it's going to be water, man? Uh, yeah. I'm thinking gator piss. <laughs> oh, gator piss. All right. I'll I go like get the gator that. from out there. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, I, I want to know what this story yeah, is. Yeah, man. Me too. Brandon said oh, he had yeah, something man. crazy to tell. We don't know what it is, guys. So, uh, like that asshole Scott said, mm-hmm. I fucked around and found out. <laughs> what? I fucked. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> you know those Willy Wonka chocolates at the gas station? Uh huh. I, uh, I got adventurous. And I was like, let me go ahead and get that. So, I got that. And then uh, I went on a date. We went to Cheddar's, right? Ooh. Yeah, I've never got been a to fish tank in there. I've never been to Cheddar's, and I found out it wasn't that expensive. So I got the ribs and uh, the chicken tenders. Uh huh. Made sure that I had a bunch of chicken tenders, and then I got uh, what else did I get? That uh, cheese broccoli casserole uh-huh. with uh, some bacon and cheese Ooh, fries. That sounds delicious. And I ate all that shit, except for. Uh, some of the ribs, I had like two bones left. And then after that, I got excited and I got some cake pops. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I ate the cake pops, I had uh, I bought this big-ass Ben & Jerry chocolate thing. Are you fucking serious? That's 5,000 uh, Oh, God, at least. And, and the morning was bad because I, okay, so uh, I was tired and I needed some energy. So I had an energy drink and then some M&M cookies. <laughs> And uh, breakfast. and then I went home and read the thing and it said take two. What is it? They said uh, two chocolate bars for the n- newcomer, the person that's new. And then if you do four or five, that's when shit gets crazy. And I was like, man, I'm a champ. Let me get four. What? Hold on. What? What, um, what are we talking about? The Willy Wonka. You never seen those mushroom chocolate things? The oh, Willy you're talking about a. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no, I, I didn't know what you're yeah, talking. About. I got four of them. And my girl's like, don't do four, Brandon. Don't do it. I'm like, man, I'm a champ. I could do four. Four entire candy bars? No, not four entire. It's like they have like a, a level of bars. And they're like, you take one, two, three, four, five. And they're like ten, six Like or you seven. break off the pieces? Yeah. And yeah. they're like six or seven. You're going to start seeing the walls move and stuff. And I was like, man, I'm a champ. But, and here's the thing. I actually was a champ. But that tummy ache came at the same time from all that shit I ate. So the whole night I was just dying. Like it was. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was the worst. Just on, not even the mushrooms in it, just what you ate. I just thought you were going to yeah, be. Yeah, like they hit, they clashed at the same time. It hit, and then my stomach. Did you feel anything? Like, yes, yeah, yes, I did, but also I was more <laughs> focused on my stomach. So, dude, I'm falling over <laughs> and trying to, and it was so bad I couldn't even go. So, I'm just like, dude, it was so bad I just blinked, and then it was like eight in the morning. And I was just like, no, not eight in the morning. It was six. Yeah, it was six o'clock, and I was like, thank God. But then I realized I passed out, and I didn't get to charge my phone enough, so I had to rush out with a dead phone and everything else. I, I found out, yo. You can't do all that. Were you shitting crazy? I tried. And I you couldn't. couldn't. Oh, I my couldn't, God. Man. I would, Have you shit since? I, only once. Only Damn, once. Dude, was it a big one? No. No. Nah. Brandon. With how much you <laughs> ate, dude? Man. I don't even know how you did. Yeah, eat some fiber. Yeah, so, dude, dude, that, some apples. Yeah. I'm taking a sugar break. I'm a sugar addict, and uh, that definitely showed that night. Oh my gosh, man, that was that was a horrible night. I wouldn't wish that upon nobody. Because <laughs> it was like it was like, oh, here it is. Wrong moment. My stomach. Ugh. So it was just hurting, and you couldn't yeah, do nothing I was about like, it. Oh, like groaning now, just passed out. <laughs> oh, that's the worst, dude. Dude, we're gonna have to. <sighs> Stage an intervention for yeah. Brandon, I think. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is getting to be a problem. Dude. That was a horrible uh, introduction to that chocolate right there. <laughs> I don't think it had anything to do with the chocolate, man. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, dude, you ate yeah. so much. So, chicken tenders. Ribs, chicken tenders. Broccoli cheese. Broccoli and cheese. Cheese fries. fries. Cheese fries. Yeah, cake bacon. pops. <laughs> the cake, cake pops. fucking pops. The mushroom chocolate. Yeah, and... Ben and Jerry's. The Ben and Jerry's. The ben and drink. Jerry's and the chocolate. No, it was a big ass chocolate bar. That's big. Five dollars. It was. <laughs> and then you woke up the next morning. You're like, man, that was the worst. Let me eat some cookies and drink this. <laughs> oh no, that was all in the same day. That was just that was how I started. Oh, that's the what day. you ate yeah. your, for breakfast oh, that yes. day. Breakfast of champions. That is yes, Red yeah. Bull and some M M&M and M cookies. What yeah. what flavor Red Bull? Oh, the plain one with the little race guy on it. You never seen that? Like, they, if you go there now, it's a race dude looking like this on a normal one. That's what I got. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, big ass mistake, man. Yeah, dude. Horrible. It's just I got so hungry and I never been to Cheddar's and it was so good. It was. It I've was never been man. either, but everybody said it's, it's going to change. Your I've life. been too many times. Really? Man. Too many times. It's good. Too yeah, good. it's kind of made Dude, me want cheddar now. They got a good uh, menu item: the Monte Cristo. What's that? Deep fried sandwich. Yeah. A ham, turkey, cheese. They deep fry it, powdered sugar on it with oh, raspberry man. preserves on the side. Dude, oh my gosh, man. It's nah, nice. That's, that's a little too much right there. Man. That's a little too much <laughs> he, right there. Is Brandon oh, fat shaming no, me right yeah, now, no. dude? He's fucking food man, shaming he, me. Uh, <laughs> Unreal, they man. They deep fry it like, like, so it's like, like, like fried chicken type, but like a sandwich, right? Yeah, it's like the bread is almost as if it's a croissant. Oh, you know, shit. it's like a croissant style. But you know what they give you for free? The appetizer, the honey butter oh, croissant. Oh, yeah, that, that was the best. Add thing that to the I list, but <laughs> I had that too. It's that kind <laughs> of bread, of but it's got a little bit more integrity to it. It's a thicker cut. That's mm. my favorite place right now, man. Like, I got to go back. I think you should <laughs> take a uh, sabbatical, dude. Did they give you a lot of food and how much did it cost? Oh, it was only 19 bucks, and they gave you like a full slab of ribs. Full? Yeah, like based on most. Well, I think that's, that was like slab. my second time I had ribs, really. That Brandon, I, I've cooked ribs here four times. I know, but you know like that I've been able to just get like a slab like that. Uh-huh. Because, you know, when I was young, like ribs was like a thing that adults really Yeah, yeah, like, you so got hot like, dogs you, and hamburgers. Yeah, they're like, you mm-hmm. get a little bit. So they gave me a little bit, but I never had my own slab like that. Like big, it was big, man. Brennan has definitely ate a half slab over here. Oh, oh yeah. That. Oh, yeah, I just keep, yeah, whenever I get a chance to some ribs now, man, I'm going to go at them. I never had, it. like, man, now that I got that chance, that's like with chicken breast. You know, whenever I see a chicken breast now and I get a chance with it, because back then I always had to eat thighs, which is disgusting. What? Thighs are better. No. Nah. Juicier. Too much, too much fat and too much gristle. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, man. You like the breast, huh? Oh, yeah. I love that good breast. breast. Man. I'm a yeah. breast man. Yeah, you like good old titties. I man. love titties. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> this nigga got mad. Both see, ways. I never see the intense, uh, intensity of that yes. magnitude and brand food right there. And life. Yeah. It's amazing shit. It's amazing. I don't even know what to say, dude. <laughs> He's kind of won me over, man. Yeah. Do you agree? Like, oh, yeah. Food, <laughs> food's up there, man. There's a lot of good things. Like in the chicken world. tenders? Shit. That's yeah. the best right there. I'm I'm obsessed with it. Like, I'm going to learn how to master it like I master my mac and cheese. Mm. So, yeah, if y'all want the best mac and cheese guy, right here. All right. We'll all argue <laughs> that. We'll go at it. We need to have a mac, have mac a and cheese. Off. Yeah, yeah. I'll make Yours some. is good, though. It, ta- it They taste similar. Uh, yours and mine. Uh, mm. I'll teach you how to make ribs, and they're cheap. You can get a slab of ribs for nine dollars, and then uh, it's easy as hell to make. Really, really easy. And they always t- every time you eat them, they always taste good, right? Amazing. And they're in the fucking oven. You, it's better on the grill, but you know, you just do them in the oven. Yeah, that's what we nine dollars. About all you need is mustard. Get a little apple juice, put them in the bottom. Mustard. Put your seasoning on there. A little Worcestershire sauce. Uh, and then uh, bake them three, about 350 for two and a half hours. Open them up, put the barbecue sauce on the on the bone side. And then uh, mm. put the bone side first, put the barbecue sauce and put it to 400 degrees, 450. And let that you know, like caramelize a little bit. And then flip it over and do the other side at the end. And I'm telling you, every time. Every time, banger. And it's it's a quick way to do it. Now, if you want to do it on the grill, it's a different story. But it, you know, I do it like that. Yeah. Wait. So, like, why is it like? Wait. So you said it's only nine bucks for ribs, right? You go to get a slab of baby back ribs, probably nine to thirteen dollars. Dang. Depending so, on the size, but. Yeah. Why I gotta spend twenty bucks at like TGI Fridays or something? Because like they're that. making them. Oh, okay, okay. Man, All right. they're making them, and you get sides. Oh yeah, true. You know. Yeah, you're right. It makes sense now. <laughs> and the workers have to have money as well. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta get around. We gotta get around. Oh. What, <laughs> what what else what else been going on? Shit, dude, nothing. I'm fucking tired all the time. I need to go to the doctor. They canceled my health insurance, man. Oh shit. So you know what I do? I fucking wake up and I persevere. Because I'm an American dude. <laughs> 
Yeah. Health insurance is overrated anyways. I don't need to go to the doctor. I just need Adderall. I think I think yeah. I just need an Adderall prescription. Me too. I got to get my blood pressure down before they give it to me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I need to check mine. Blood pressure? Yeah. I got a thing in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Didn't I, I give you one? You, you did? I'm pretty sure I gave you one. I don't remember that. Wait, so what was it? What did it what was it like? Like one of those things? Yeah, it's a blood pressure. Oh, thing. I never had one. No, nah, I never got one of those. I didn't give it to you. Man, that's not where you put it, man. Well, yeah. you put it right there. You yeah. put it on the upper arm. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. What are y'all trading medical technology for, dude? Well they told me at the VA they were like, Go go to this room and grab one. So I went and grabbed one and then they mailed one to me. So now I got two. Mm. I don't need two. I've never used either one of them. So no, it's not any better. Yeah, it's not even like it's that high. It's like right on the borderline. I'm like, give me the fucking Adderall. I feel like there's a joke that could be made there. Yeah. With the fucking blood pressure machine. Like put it around your neck to choke yourself or something. <laughs> for in a sexual Hell fashion. Hell yeah. Somebody that doing is good. It. Somebody doing it out there. Raina. <laughs> Raina. <laughs> Shout out Raina. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, she put me on a, uh, she asked me yesterday, like, will you be on a show on uh, July 13th or whatever and it was uh and it's uh um, by the pool and i was like well I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my cute ass to the gym now and get ready for it <laughs> and then she said uh she was like yeah you're trying to be eye candy and i was like are you calling me uh peanut m&m damn <laughs> that's fucked up dude yeah what candy you guys think you would be peanut m&m peanut m&m yeah. what about you yeah colorful gay <laughs> <laughs> Shiny. Who who said you? Cause you st- is that shit still on the bio? Yeah. <laughs> who 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 said they thought so. I was uh, really gay? Uh, it was uh, was it? It was somebody's family member, like girlfriend or something. Was it uh Jack's wife? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Thought you were gay, man. <laughs> Damn. That's funny. I forget until somebody tells me that's in there. I totally forget that it's in there. But I'm going to get you back. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get you back, you son of a bitch. It's a hard one to come back from, dude. <laughs> Old and gay. You got to pick one, bro. You can't do both. Oh, shit. Not, what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, I was dude? asking what type of candy. Oh, you yeah, mean? that's what we were talking about. Yeah, peanut M&M I feel like is good for you. Brandon, you would be like a something wet. Hmm. Some type of wet candy. Ice cream? No, that's not, that's not counting as candy. Hold on. Wet candy. Well, I wasn't going to get upset about it. <laughs> wet candy. Let me think of something. Wet, wet, what are you wet, telling me the wet, wet candy? Wet, because he's sweating. Ooh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. That, uh, what is that thing called? That, uh, you ever had a juicy drop pop? Oh, yeah, dude. But it's going to be the gummy one with the sticks. And you, you, when I don't you, know about all that. Google yeah. that, because I don't yeah, know what it is. It's like a sucker, and it has a liquid that you pour on it. In really? The thing. Yeah, it, it was oh, good. Oh, my gosh. Wait, hold on. Do you know about the baby bottle pops? I don't know. About oh, man, no, I no, I, I don't know. But pull up the ju- whatever, right. juicy oh. job. Dom yeah. might be a fucking fun dip, dude. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about right here. The They're one. real good. Find the original one. Oh, you Brandon. want the original? Oh, I've never. That, no, seen that's that not. Before. That's not the original. That's like some offshoot. Yeah. That's fucking some this Vietnamese the original, special. Original. Yeah, that you pull it out of the bottom and you squeeze that stuff on there. No, no, no. They really. had good commercials, man. Oh yeah, amazing commercials. And then that's the baby right there. You you suck on a little uh, suck bottle on. pop. You do what to it, Brandon? <laughs> you got to suck on a little baby bottle, the bottle <laughs> suckle thing or whatever the fuck. That is. <laughs> bottle. Dollar General has to have an account? <laughs> what? Fuck all that. Hold on. Let me just fuck baby. No, just, there it is. There, there it is. is. Thank there you. Is. There we go. But yeah, it's like yeah you get that little nipple thing <laughs> and then you go to town. Like it. the Gatorade, dude. Oh, yeah. And then put it powder on there, too. Lube it up. <laughs> mm, lube it up. Opposite powder. of lube. Yeah. Yeah. Dry lube. <laughs> Dry if rub that's lube. Thing, dude. I don't know. You ever used dry lube before? Never. Never. I've never, never used that. Mm hmm. Not even, no. Ne- never. Never even a real one. Normal one. Lou? What about the butterscotch oil? Oh, yes. That's the only thing that butterscotch oil is that I got that from uh, Pleasures. Shout hey. out. Hell yeah. Let me give it a little. Tuesdays. Yep, on Tuesdays. But uh, yeah, I got Not it from Pleasures. Not nah, for long. <laughs> They're I know. dropping like flies, dude. With Sunday's gone. That was the best one to try, whatever the fuck you wanted to say. And then Tuesday's gone. Dude, like, first of all, boxcar, no, so no, many Tuesday's good memories. Hmm. We still got Shag Nasties. Yeah, and I think there's the going to be another one, but Jonathan just hasn't announced it yet. 
Mm-hmm. We still got Wednesday and Thursdays. Yes, we do. Fat Sammy, that's the one I host with Alex Z. Hey. Black Panther, Hidden Dragon. And you'll be on your own again next week. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will. Good time. Mm-hmm. Did a great time the last couple Thank times. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Where's Alex going to be, man? Remember he said he's going to... Um, it's a wedding or some sort. Oh shit! But he's going oh, back home. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, back yeah, home, so yeah. he'll be there for like a whole week. I'm like, dude, going on vacation for more than four days. I don't give a fuck where you're going. It's it's terrible. After four days, it's terrible. It's nothing good unless you're like in a different country and you're like like saying you're going to Europe and you're jumping to different countries and stuff. You got to take more than four. But even then, you're fucking hurting. You're yeah. ready to get back in your fucking bed. Every day after the third day is like the same thing. Yeah. It's like you wake up and it's like, oh, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Probably what we did the day before. But now you're drunk and hungover <laughs> and gay yeah. and shit. And it's just like, <laughs> it's not a good time. You're running out of clothes. Yeah. It's not good, dude. Yeah. It's not good. Somebody already got into an argument already. Oh, it's especially if you go with oh, Every it doesn't single matter time. if you go more than one person. <laughs> what's 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 the best argument you've ever gotten in on vacation? Like best or worst? Like the craziest one. Best for me. I love I love I it. I got too. I got an argue with one of my exes because uh I wasn't flushing the toilet. Like I would <laughs> I would I would uh yeah, you know, and it Tight was like move. a big thing and then we were in Hawaii and then I was like uh and plus, I rented the fucking beach house. Bitch didn't pay for anything. And then, uh, so like, it was it was it was it wasn't even like I was peeing or I was just blowing my nose and then putting it in the toilet and I didn't flush it. We're, not, we're saving we're saving water. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a, it's an island. We got to do that. They lack that in Hawaii, dude. Yeah, water. I know, man. So uh, <laughs> it was like one of those things, you know, when you walk. She walks out to the beach, and then I got to go out there. I'm like, oh, it just flushed. It. So I'm like, it's a fucking toilet. What are you doing? What are we talking about? Yeah. Uh, See, that's why you got to start pissing in the sink, man. That's what I've been preaching for the longest. That's true. Or yeah. outside. Yeah. <clears throat> in a bush. Yeah, what's your bush? What's yours? Man, I can't I can't really think of it because you know I haven't really traveled. Like I have You could be with your parents, right? Oh, yeah. my parents. Hmm. Damn, when is the time we've done? Well, I mean, I guess I mean, there's always an argument we go out of town because it's like sometimes I just be Oh, yeah, I got one. My mom complained because I kept on, like, moving in my sleep and doing shit in the middle of the night, like, punching in the air. she just wake up and kicking this shit. Like, what? She's like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with my... Because I used to... Oh, shit. Yeah, I used to, like, sleepwalk and yell and shit. Like, one time my grandmother told me, she was like, I walked past your door. And when I walked past, you yelled, you low down, dirty dog. And I was like, I said that? And she was like, yeah, and you sleep. And... Yeah, and one time I woke up in the toilet too. I don't know what happened, but in what the do you toilet? mean in the toilet? Like sitting on it, and I was just my pants were down and stuff, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Well, time to go to class. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were on vacation. Yeah. Oh, oh I, that's a different yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't get around much, so I'll just tell you guys <laughs> situations, like arguments and we're stuff about, that people would talk to me about. We're about to take Brandon. As soon as we get this clown college fund all the way up, we're taking Brandon somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, you know where I'm telling. I'm thinking. What? Take Brandon to Vegas. Dude. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell Brandon yeah. will be a prostitute <laughs> before the end of the four days. <laughs> oh, you know how much money I made down there. <laughs> Where's yours? What's your uh, craziest argument? Well, most of the things I ran into is like we go somewhere and all like everybody in the group except one person would be down, and the one person just wants to stay in the room. Oh yeah, I don't understand mm-hmm. that, dude. The room is nice, but yeah. it's only nice when like. It's time to be in the room. Yeah. Like, I don't go somewhere just to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sit on this fucking uncomfortable couch they got in here, dude. Mm-hmm. You only sleep on it, dude, with severe sunburns. Yep. And that's it. Yeah. I, I want to go do activities and shit. I want to do the, the e-bike tour on Groupon and shit. <laughs> I want to go to Shell Island and feed a deer a honey bun, which I did one time. Dude. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. How'd that go? Um, you know, <laughs> we, we, bought, we, it was me and my girlfriend at the time we went, it's like an island right off Panama city in Florida and it's just an island and it's not anything special. That's really it. But there's wild deer there and they like to eat little Debbie cakes, dude. Mm. And we fed them one, our, our tour guide, the dude that was like the captain, I guess, drunk as fuck, dude, <laughs> like so drunk, man. Hell and then yeah. it was just me and like seven women. No. No. No, it was not a good time. Oh, okay. It was not a good time. I, I found a crab. I picked it up. I started chasing my girlfriend with it. She wasn't <laughs> happy about it. And I, was, 
I had fun. <laughs> oh, snap. I just realized I did travel one time at Trumbauer when everybody thought I was special. That's that's probably the worst time I I mean the worst experience I had traveling was when everybody so wait Trump Trump what it's, it was a thing for a theater where we would travel I think it was Louis we went to what was it somewhere I forgot where the fuck it was somewhere we went to but we would travel there and we would perform for like schools and theaters and colleges and stuff and if they liked you they would try to give you like a scholarship or something like that so mm-hmm. I went down there and we were doing a what was it? Some World War One play. And I was like a prop guy there. And now I was doing a comedic monologue because I was trying to low-key get into comedy some way. But as I was there, everybody always thought I was special. Like, I remember one time it was so bad that one lady was like, oh, look, it's Brandon. Do you you got to go to the bathroom? Do you want me to walk with you? And I'm like, no, I don't want you to walk with me. And then people, was, like I had my friend that I used to hang out with all the time. And then people were like, oh, look, he made a friend. Look at that guy. I'm like, dude, I know this guy. And then I would sit by myself, and everybody was like, oh, man, Brandon, what you sitting by yourself for? Come with us in the group. And then I would go over. It was, man. And then and then the dance was the word. They had to dance, and I would just mind my business. Everybody like, Brandon, get in the middle of the corner. And then all the teachers came out. Everybody pulled me in the corner and was trying to make me dance. And I, I was just trying to <laughs> chill, man. You were the dude. That happens at every school. That's just the funniest yeah. part is that they were trying to get you to be that guy. Yeah, and I was the only black kid, too. Oh, maybe they didn't think you were special. They just wanted to include you. I, I, I don't. I thought it was just weird how they always wanted to walk with me when I wanted to walk by myself. <laughs> how were you? The buddy I system. was, uh, this was like my, 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 I think it was like the, the end of my sophomore year. In high school. Yeah. Jesus Christ. This is like high school. I'm like, like 15, was, 16 years yeah, old. Yeah, about I'm 16 years old. Like, this was like, yeah, man, that was fucked like, up. Oh, Dom, this is really giving me flashbacks to when he was like, it's called <laughs> Special Ed. Oh. <laughs> well, I was telling y'all, like, yeah, I was in this thing. I don't know now, if you guys uh, have heard of this. I don't know. If you, they changed it. It used to be. Now, okay, so Special Ed used to be Special uh but they they call it special needs now, and and that's what I was I was in the special ed part where you got a little bit of extra. <laughs> they put you in the class and you get some extra help <laughs> and stuff. That's yeah. And then I'd have to read to like old people and draw on straight lines. And... You said that exact same thing last time. Yeah, it was. I don't think that's in the standards. <laughs> It was like, I don't yeah. think that's in the standards. And I'd have to be there like every uh, <laughs> beginning of class for an hour or two, just begging to get out. Now, now when I was in college, I got, I got out and I want to get back. <laughs> like I was like, they were like, because they were like, you really want to get out? I was like, yeah. And then they took me out. And now I started start, I was like, I want to get back in. Now they, oh my, dude, he's like Brooks from Shawshank oh Redemption. <laughs> he was too institutionalized. Yeah, to really man. operate any yeah. other way. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it started really straight first lines. grade. Started and sung first to grade. old people. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Brandon, we're not making fun. Oh, of I, know. I, I know. I know. It's just the way that you say it is <laughs> yeah. so yeah. fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know. Uh, Trust me, it was a crazy. What experience. other kind of assignments did you have? Okay, so they would always make us like, oh man, I hate. It. Sometimes the teacher would want to like sit with you in the class if you uh. Need it like sometimes they be like, oh Brandon, you gonna take the test? I wanna sit with you, make sure you get the test right. I'm like, I don't want teachers to sit with me in front of everybody. And then one time they pulled me out of class. My mom was like, man, we think you might be autistic. Something's wrong with you. And then they were like, but cheer up, the good doctor's on TV, and you see he's doing fine. (laughs) I don't know. Actor. Yeah, he's an actor, and that's fucking uh, what is that? Doctor Math shit. I'm struggling with math, man, and all that (laughs) biological. Doctor Math, dude. Is he a is he He's a doctor, though. I right? know, but you got to know some stuff to be that doctor. Yeah. Like, Why yeah. do you keep on reverting to math? Because don't you have to know some math to do some doctor I'm sure stuff? you have to know a good amount, but I don't think it's, yeah. like, the main thing. I, I know, but I feel like I, I feel like there's more, like, because it's, like, you got to calculate how much you cut that person, uh-huh. and then, like, you got to calculate which part of the organ you're going to, you, you know how the surgery goes. It'd be. <laughs> yeah, I've did it many a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I be thinking, so. Like, and plus it's a movie and show. I was like, that's, he made it. Thank you. Plus, I'm nothing like that, dude. I've seen it. I don't see what you got the comparison from. Well, that's that. That's, <laughs> that's the end of this episode. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. Thank you, guys. Scott Curtis up next. He's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Fuck him. Yep. Don't Fuck like him. You.
Don't like him. Bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's bald, man. <laughs> Does this taste funny? Welcome to Does This Taste Funny with Kimberly Wilson. Hey. Yeah. What hey. we got going on here, Kim? <laughs> so this is an, a segment that was inspired by the egg drinking incident yeah. because it was so yeah <laughs> bless poor jj <laughs> but it was such fun to watch these guys try new things and then we started talking on ogre's episode or no it was when jj came on our show we were talking about the different uh weird things that country people eat and all that and JJ is like, I'm down to try new stuff. So y'all can blame JJ. We have. But yeah. um, so now this is a segment. And the background for the name of the segment is because the there were this is a stupid street joke. I'm telling you now it's stupid. This is not my humor. So shut up. <laughs> anyway, two cannibals are eating the clown. One says the other one, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> so <laughs> clown based yeah, humor, hence the segment name. All right. Well, we got. Oh no! What is this? Oh, now, <laughs> let me say this. I probably know what this is. I, I it's think I not like cat it. food. Okay. I promise you that. This is all human food grade quality. All right. All right. So, do y'all want to decide which one you're going to try first? Because I think you should each try a thing, you know, and then discuss that thing, and then move on to the next. All right. The. What is the tartar thing? <laughs> you might as well get that out the way. I think I know what this is. If I'd like it, if it's what I think it is, a German. No. Oh, then never mind. Dude, it's looking at. Jay's <laughs> exactly it. like it has I gave eyes. Gave my dog this yesterday, man. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I think I shot this yeah. out yesterday. Cheers. Oh no. <laughs> you might like it. That's you know. Look at JJ's face. <laughs> Brandon's not loving it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's eating it. Dom's all right with it. It's good. Mm. It's all right. All right. Maybe I shouldn't say liverwurst. It's it's close. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna bring in all three products and show them. Do we chase the it with this? You can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Take a take a little sip of your drink there. All right now. <laughs> I love how he's the one <laughs> that said we should do this, and he's already look at him. Look at the yeah, camera. I show me your face. I don't like it. Dude. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it. That texture is like. <laughs> okay, so we got to don't like it, don't like it, mm-hmm. finish this whole crap. <sighs> Come on, man. No, I don't like that. Yeah, Y'all can do that, too, if you want to take a swig of water. Don't need it, Kim. But wait, hmm? you want to okay. cleanse the palate so that you can enjoy oh, the drink. Because right. the drink is its own thing, you know. I'm glad you <sighs> told me. I'm about to dig in. <laughs> All right. Now just I have a little sip. sip of your drink. JJ, you good, man? I, I'm already regretting this so much. <laughs> All, right. All of I, a sudden, JJ's allergic to everything. <laughs> <laughs> the taste of that was so it was. strong, dude. Was it? It was strong. Bad. Yeah. It was okay. That was a cheetah, dude. That's fucking <laughs> cheetah shit. That's <laughs> cheetah shit. Dude. Nothing that great. All right. Well. So, yeah, do, do a little salute here. Salute. To trying new things. Don't shoot it. You need to taste it. It's good. Oh, okay. that's great. Like a cinnamon. What do you think it tastes like? I like Carrot that. Carrot cake. Not huh. far off. Tastes that's like actually. A, let me try it again. Oh, that's good. I, I, I actually like that. Like some gingerbread. Type of tea. Pumpkin pie soda. Okay. Oh, I was getting. This I'm is with that. See? Thank you. That's Thank you. Good. That just means whatever that is is going to kill us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin pie soda. Yeah, that's yeah. I mess with that. It. Yep. A little, little sip of water. See, JJ, it's not all going to be bad. That's going to kill me. That <laughs> I'm scared. Why? They look like little chicken wings. Yeah, yeah sure it's do. like a chicken wing cracker of some sort. All right. This is, this is going to be not good. I guess, but there's a glaze on it. Glaze. It's yeah. sweating. Yeah, that is. That's <laughs> it's not liquid. It's just shiny. Yeah, yeah shiny is. Interesting. This is a this is like a cricket turkey leg, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right with me. Where's Cheers. the smallest one, dude? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Spicy. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Let me get another one. That's good. There you go. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Though. Not as bad, but what I'm still it? suspicious of it, dude. At first, it tasted like sweet, but mm-hmm. now it's spicy. The, the glaze, I think, is kind of a little bit sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's good. All right, I'm going to get the container so you can see. Uh-oh. What you had. I mean, clearly is it shrimp? Delicious <laughs> club crackers. You're not far off. <laughs> Yo, he's allergic to shrimp. <laughs> I did not oh, say that. I'll be good. Man. I'll be good. All right. What did JD? What did you say? He got to see. All right. So this is Lester Spixen pumpkin pie soda. Oh, I actually yeah. like this. this. Yeah. So y'all can finish that off if you want to. <sighs> then uh, on that the cracker, like you had Fortune brand cured pork liver pate. <sighs> oh, that's why. Delicious. Yeah. And then the crackers. Um, I'm going by what it said on the shelf because I can't read this, but basically it's a uh, squid um, with like buffalo. It's like oh okay. man, I, I like squid. squid. Squid is good. Crackers. I love yeah. squid. See the cute little squid there. Mm-hmm. So you're not allergic so. to squid, are you? Never had. We'll find out. Dude. <laughs> are you really allergic to shrimp? I am. Lucky. I forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you, we don't have shrimp today, but mm. that's important. Too. This week's featured comedian. I'm almost 60, and I started doing this when I was 52. And, you know, when I told my wife, she was pretty happy about it because it got me out of the house. But I called my kids and said, hey, I'm doing stand-up comedy now. And they're like, oh, great, Dad. That's fantastic. You are always funny. Got to keep the brain working. And then, as soon as they hang up, they call my wife and says, what's wrong with Dad? Has he had a stroke? Is it time for us to come home? JJ? Yes. We got a really special guest today. Yes, we we do. do. Guys, I don't know if you know this. We are in the presence of podcast royalty. Yes, we are. Okay. This is an award-winning podcast. Come on. Mm -hmm. He he, uh, did Open Mic Diaries. Mm -hmm. The Behind the Bits podcast. Ooh. He hosted a virtual comedy competition Stop, during the dude. pandemic. I'm for realsies, man. I'm for realsies. Guys, today we have the amazing Scott Curtis. Hey! Hell yeah. Hey. Thank, you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. You, you did research. I forgot about that comedy competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. We got more than that as well. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. How you doing, Scott? I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh, really happy to be here. This is a uh, nice professional setup, and uh, um, you know, you three guys, uh, you know, you, you're reasonably nice. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm not like head over heels over any of you, but you're, you're all right. Yeah. We're a tough sell. Yeah. We're a tough sell. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Scott, I always always like to introduce you. You know, I love your comedy. You're so tight. You're on time, and the shit's hilarious. It's silly. That's my biggest thing about comedy. I, lo- I like smart. I like all that. But I love silly. Yeah. And you got silly with it all. Kind of like a Steve Martin. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Steve was my second comedian that I, like, fell in love with. Mm. Uh, my first was Tom Dreesen, who um, he worked with um, Frank Dreesen. Sinatra for, like, 15 years at the end of Frank Sinatra's career. But he's a Chicago guy. And I found him accidentally on the Mike Douglas show, which was an old, old-timey old daytime show. And he did this joke about uh, never doing drugs because uh, uh, he was, I don't remember. He, I always say it wrong. Um, a guy offered him drugs, and uh, he said, what's that? And he says, well, it's, it's drugs. And uh, he says, well, what does it do? He says, well, it makes you feel feel like you got hit in the back of the head with a shovel. Wow. <laughs> so, so he passed. And I saw him on there. So then, you know, the only way you could find out where people were on TV was TV Guide. So I always mm-hmm. got to TV Guide as soon as we got one and found out if Tom Dreesen was on. So he'd do Carson. He'd do um, Mike Douglas, Dinah Shore, all the, all the 
shows that were on at that time and I'd watch him and I just thought he was the best and then I kind of forgot about him because you know things changed I got married and everything but uh after him it was David Letterman so Letterman was like yeah. my guy when even at the morning show so the morning show started when I was in my senior year at high school and I would just leave school and go and watch it and come back. <laughs> oh, David Letterman did the morning show? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know that. For like three months. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It didn't go over well. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> and then when he started doing late night, I, you know, I watched religiously. And I've just been a fan of his like forever. Yeah, I, I love David Letterman. Same like, here. I grew yeah. up whenever... Uh, the uh, wars were going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, Jay Leno, David Letterman, they had this uh, because David was go going to get the uh, Tonight Show gig. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Jay Leno hid in the closet while he was doing his uh, interview with the Tops, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I yeah. remember that. Brandon, how the hell did you research? I researched oh, okay. like all, right. all this. I had, like you, you love it too. Yes, like when you were talking about uh, Mike Douglas and Johnny Carson, yeah. I was just wondering, man, what was it like to like wait till like 12 at night or something whenever that went on and saw that like see richard pryor and rob williams george carlin yeah it was so first of all you know we had one tv in the house uh -huh. and you know when i was young i wasn't supposed to be up you know uh -huh. it was you know mm -hmm. and our house was really small my bedroom was right next to my mom and dad so sneaking out to watch tv was tough and but i did it and and I'm glad I did because I, I did see all that kind of stuff. I, I watched Carson whenever I could. And uh, I saw, you got to find this on YouTube, I saw the episode where Steve Martin came out, he did his interview, and then Johnny says, well, I, I hear you've got to go. You've got something going on, so you have to leave. And he leaves. And then they come back, and Johnny's starting to announce the next guest. And Steve comes from behind the curtain, and he's just crying. He's like, I, I didn't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just wanted to be like the important people. And <laughs> find it on YouTube. It's I, I think if you uh, find Steve Martin um, has to leave or something like that. Steve Martin <laughs> Carson. It was just the most hilarious thing in the world. And that's. For some reason, that solidified him for me as somebody that can do really weird shit that uh -huh. is not really mm -hmm. part of his act. So he could be, you know, he could be weird. This is before he did movies, so he could be weird, like just in real life, um, <laughs> yeah. which made me feel better because I'm weird in real life. <laughs> <laughs> he is, folks. Oh, yeah. We all are. Yeah. That's it, right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, see, oh, yeah. he has to leave. <laughs> Man, Brandon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Some fast fingers. There. Yeah, super Thank producer you. over there. I have to try. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start getting into late night until it was like Conan O'Brien and Jay Leno were having the beef. Oh because yeah, yeah. Conan had it for like a few months or something, yeah, and then Leno than came back. Yeah. And then Conan got his own show. I yeah. love Conan O'Brien. I love Same. Conan. I think too. he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. That's, his his podcast is fantastic. Oh, yes, he's, it is. I mean, as good as he was at doing the talk shows, because I watched all those too, the, his long-form interviews are just fantastic because he's so smart yeah yeah and mm -hmm. he but yet he, he has that same quality as you you know yeah. he's so smart but conan's the silliest yeah and that's <laughs> yeah. why i loved yeah. i mean and and then like when you when you see him in the interview like he's so on top of it yeah. like whenever oh, he yeah. has a guest that he really likes oh, oh yeah. man he's just <laughs> he's just going and going yeah. Yeah. And, and like guys that you know but you really maybe well like me i i know who they are but sometimes like i've seen them before uh -huh. But I didn't know that they were this funny, and they, and yeah. they end up being like writers on a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. They do yeah. a they spot uh, acting here yeah. and there, but yeah. they're hilarious. I, can't, I wanna I can't think of the guy's name right now. He was just on there probably a couple like a month ago or something, and they had a, the best riff. Yeah, yeah. And the the thing I miss about the Conan talk show is Andy Richter because yes. the stuff, <laughs> yeah. the, their chemistry and the stuff between them was. It was just beautiful. Yeah. I, I've never seen anything like it. I like how Andy didn't care. At, like, he put on like <laughs> yeah. he didn't care at all. I mean, he just shrugged all the time. Yeah. Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they, they say, uh, like, the, when I watch podcasts, comedians say that Andy is hilarious. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's the guy that you want to hang out with whenever right. you yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love. So, do you like the the new like uh, Jimmy Fallon? I don't even know who else they got. Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel. and then James Charlemagne, Corden. Charlemagne, kind of. Who? No, no, Char- kinda. Charlemagne. They had a kind of. James back Corden, then. the Late Late Show. Yeah, but that's gone now. Colbert. Yeah, yeah. call Colbert. Uh-huh. Do you like these guys? I don't. I I don't watch <laughs> any of them. Yeah, me neither. Um, and it's not so Kimmel. I totally respect him because he was an Uber Letterman fan, mm-hmm. and oh, I yeah. like mm-hmm. I like his. You know, he's snarky. He's you know really sarcastic. I I like his dry humor, but I just can't sit through a talk show anymore because famous people just. Bore the shit out. Oh of my god! I, so I, I, <laughs> that's why Letterman was so good. Yeah, because if he didn't like you, yeah, you knew it. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, you knew it on there. And it's become you know it's just it's just so corporate now. There's no there's no real stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that I I just I don't watch talk shows anymore. Yeah, I and I used to religiously I and, and even though like. I, I was a Letterman guy. I still like Jay Leno. It was funny. Like yeah. whenever he read the uh, ha, uh, the paper oh, and yeah. like all, yeah. he had good segments. I liked it. Mm-hmm. But uh, but you always feel some type of way because like Letterman was my guy. And then I'm like took the job. And, it, yeah. and I came on after that. But like you know you go. They had a whole movie about it. Yeah. Late yeah. Uh, late night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And there's a book. There's a book about it that's really good too. And I can't remember the guy who wrote it. It's in my Kindle. But, <laughs> but I've read like all the Letterman shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you ever watch one guy? I can't remember his name, but he was the late night host. He was Scottish. Oh yeah, yeah. He's talking Craig about Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Craig he Ferguson. was good. He was good. I love Craig Ferguson. And he is good. He's he's a good guy, and he's very so that that British Scottish, you know, the whole European humor. It's different, and and it's in a lot of times ways i think it's better Mm -hmm. um and canadian humor is the same for me too because they um i so when i did the podcast i talked to a few canadian comedians and you know i I asked why because i used to listen to jfl uh channel on sirius all the time and i i said i don't know why but i lean towards your humor more and one guy told me um his name's glenn foster he said it's because we have to work harder (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but there is a culture thing too. Mm-hmm. you know in in britain and uh australia even more uh all the european countries they you don't need like laughs per minute you you need a story the a lot of awkwardness yeah True. keeps Love people that. interested mm-hmm. and they're they're totally fine with waiting for the laugh Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't have to have all these tags and shit like that. So you really get a story from most of them, which is good. I, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, British TV shows. Like, there's one I never hear anybody talk about it, but it was on it was on Netflix for a little while. It's not on there anymore, but it's called Borderline. Huh, and it's uh it's it's pretty much the off like an already ver- version of the Office, but instead of an office, they're at the um, the airport. Ah. Okay. Yeah, and. Yeah. The characters in that are so fucking yeah. funny, and I'll you know, have to check that one. yeah, yeah. Check. I don't know what it's on now. Like when I watched it, they got two seasons out. You know, British they usually do what three, and yeah. then that's it. And they're short seasons. Yeah, they, yeah. They they're very good about not uh, running a show into the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we uh, yeah. Americans want that money. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> they'll keep it going. <laughs> Like, so, did you oh, yeah. go? No, go. Did you hear they making a new Austin Powers soon? I heard. Are, Are they really? really? Yeah, with uh, Mike Myers and everything. Oh, mm-hmm. I did not. Yeah, no, I love those though. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be crazy. I feel like. Yeah, that was definitely my childhood. So that's right another there. thing. I mean, he, he he comes out. People are starting to say he was a dick. And Michael Myers. Yeah, oh. and and I'm like, we're all dicks. I mean. <laughs> True. We're, everybody's an asshole and when you're famous they just explode it you know they 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 make it like you know um ben affleck didn't tip me at starbucks or something Uh and all of a sudden it's you know page one news and and everybody's all over him and i i just don't get it because Mm -hmm. i mean we all have bad days you know I'm a dick like most of the time, and, <laughs> and I just I don't understand why we've done this with famous people. And yeah, I, I'm actually writing a joke about it, so uh, you'll hear it at an open mic someday. Hell yeah! yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I, like one of your jokes, I've said it on here before, and it's uh, it's right. 
Saturday Night Live, they're always talking about it's not funny anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was been like that. <laughs> it's never been funny. <laughs> you get, if, you, if, you get, if you get two good sketches out of the hour, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now, that's good money. Even when you're talking about when you have Will Ferrell and uh, and all of these big names who are, like, famous now. You yeah. Know, they, call, they call that, like, they had a lot of famous people come from that era. Yeah. And, uh, but still. And then, or they would run sketches into the ground. Uh-huh. And then do it over and over yeah. and over. Yeah. So you, uh, you, you started comedy. Where'd you start? In Indiana? Yeah. Indiana. Up in uh, my first comedy gig was in Goshen Indiana and um, so I was 52 and I worked at a place called Mapletronics it was an IT um, managed service provider and I worked there for almost 20 years Mm. so we had a company party every year and I never went Um, I (laughs) (laughs) I Type move. I, I, yeah. I work there. I don't. I don't see any reason to hang out with them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just not super social. I'm. I'm social when I want to be, but mm-hmm. no, I'm not going to go Sunday to a company party and then have to go to work Monday and see them. Yeah. True. But so the guy who was doing the entertainment for the party is a um, nice young man. Um, named Michael Dunlap. He's he's the one that got me started in comedy. And they had had a magician for like three years in a row. So he came to me in the summer and said, uh, we want you to do comedy for the company party. And I said, no, because I'm not a comedian. Mm-hmm. I, I've never, you know, I like comedy. And it's not like I'm even a comedy nerd. I really, I, I like the people I like. And... Mm-hmm. You know, I never really went out and, and tried to find new people or anything like that. I just, you know, if, if I came across somebody I liked, I'd watch them and laugh. And mm-hmm. so it wasn't like, I, you know, I had Richard Pryor t-shirts and stuff like that. I was just a regular guy. But I always, at our meetings, I was always the guy that, like, broke the awkward silences and, and um, just just totally fucked up meetings with my humor and it it was usually it was almost always shitting on somebody that was higher up the food chain than me (laughs) and 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 so you know michael said said okay and then um it was like a month later he said we really want you to do stand up for the company party and i once again i said no and then a little bit more time goes by, and he said, he said, just really think about it, think about it. So I went home, and I told my wife, this is the first time I said anything to her, and uh, she said, well, you know you want to do it. And, and I'm like, eh, I guess I do. So I went ahead and said I'd do it. So this is like six months, no, not six months, it's like four months before the party, because they, they did the company party in January, right after Christmas. And so I... Um, they want me to do 45 minutes. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's, that is. That's insane. People yeah. out there, that is insane. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> the, the, the only way I did it. So let's flash forward to the day of the show. So I had written some jokes. Uh, I had watched some comedy. And there was, I didn't even know that if there was an open mic in the South Bend area. Because I just didn't know. Um, so I never did an open mic, nothing like that. So I wrote a few things and then I just kind of wrote, wrote roast for like everybody. Uh Um, and this is like a, it was like a Uber Christian organization. So I had to be careful. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, step over the line. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I was as nice as I could about the roast, but I am not like a nervous person, like at all. The day of the show, I woke up and my wife said I I was like white as a ghost and my eyes were like saucers and that I I was just a wreck. Mm-hmm. I'm like I gotta go up and do 45 five minutes. It didn't dawn on me till that day. So this was a January that Lake Michigan almost completely froze over. It w- it had been sub zero weather for like 
three weeks. Oh, and wow. um, so I said, well, let's go for a hike. And so we went to Lake Michigan <laughs> to <laughs> see the ice shells and stuff like that. And we hiked, and I came back, and I was better. And I went and did the show. And I guess it was okay. You know, I, I, I don't... I, so, a couple people said, yeah, that roast was pretty funny and stuff like that. I don't think, like, I tore the world down or anything like that. <laughs> no, okay. um, I, I think it was just funny that, that I went up there. And so... Yeah, but you did 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did I did pretty close to 45. I don't think wow. I hit that mark, but... Anywhere uh, close to that is yeah. insane. For your first time in Especially your first I mean, time. Yeah. Wow. For me right now. <laughs> yeah, right here. If yeah. I had to do 45 after 15 minutes, I'm like, oh, okay. Right. I can barely get through a 45 minute podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to stand up in front of people for 45 minutes. Oh. I can only imagine. But after that, I'm like, man, I want to be a comedian now. So then I started finding open mics, and we had the Drop Comedy Club. So I did that mic, and there was a mic at a coffee house. And um, so I, I did that stuff. And then, you know, I got really close with a lot of the comics there because. You know, I'm old, but I'm not like I'm. I'm not like a real boomer. I, you know, I'm. You know, I'm all about causes and 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 you know, yeah. I'm. You know, I've got a Black Lives Matter sticker, and I've got you know, straight up. I've got a. Um, I've got one of the buttons for um, for the LGBTQ stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I wear a lot. It's just how I am. It's and it. You know, that's kind of how I came up so my parents were just not great okay I, i'll leave it at that they weren't they weren't <laughs> real good but i hung out with my grandma a lot and all of and she and my grandpa were socialists and all of their friends were gay every every single one of them were gay so this is so, back in the 20s guys yeah <laughs> no, this, this is the 80s. Time. This is 80s so i was around you know gay people uh -huh. a lot and so I didn't think anything of it, really, because it was from the time I was young. So, the, you know, when you experience stuff when you're young, you know, that hatred doesn't build up. And, yeah. and so I was just totally cool with all that. And then when I started, you know, I, get, I got in high school and stuff like that. And, and I was like, you know, everybody everybody gay bashes and my high school was all white you, you know i was in a small town everybody was all white and you know the n-word was used like an adjective all the time and and i was just like i i didn't understand it you know I, and so i it never that hate stuff never really clung on to me mm -hmm. so in meeting these folks you know when i walk up to a person people automatically think you know conservative white nationalist you know that's just what i look like i get it yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and so that's that's not what i am but i'm also not somebody who's going to prove I'm, I'm not going to prove to you what i am i'm just like yeah, whatever yeah. i don't care if you like yeah. me or not and i like that and but you know i started you know it took a little while but i started really gelling with these kids and and um it was uh, it was it was really really nice and you know my objectives for comedy have been pretty small you know i mm -hmm. yeah, i i really i don't want to be a big star or anything i just want to be funny when i go up there and and which you I, are yeah yeah funny as hell. Mm -hmm. thanks mm -hmm. but you know i started putting on shows just so i could get them up there and you know i did so I, i'd bring in headliners from chicago once in a while and and then i would do a showcase once in a while and so i was doing that kind of stuff and then you know we decided to move and that was um it was after the pandemic and we had talked about it a little bit before that but we really talked about it and we're like okay what's keeping us here mm -hmm. we've got one kid in the dc area and one kid in huntsville and you know nothing nothing else is really keeping us and so we finally said okay let's do it and no plans nothing like that you know i didn't even know if i could get a job you know because mm. you know, i was old i was uh, like <laughs> I, I had i hadn't applied for a job in like 25 years so it was like you know what's that and you know i got a job right away and lisa was able to stay with her company and she'd been with them for like 
23 years mm. so she was able to stay with them and you know we came down and you know once we got settled i was like yeah i'd like to do some comedy and i went out a few times and i was like man i'm just not feeling it and a lot of it was because my comedy persona in south bend was like super clean and it was super clean and goofy i'd say mm -hmm. so you know being super clean and goofy is fine but that's not what i am you know, I want to I want to gently do some commentary on you know boomers and 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 stuff like that. I don't want to be like in your face. I I don't want to be you know like um, uh, Lewis Black. You know, yeah. I, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although I love him, I've seen him a bunch of times. I love him, but I don't think I could pull that off. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to you know just gently you know lift up young people while pushing my generation down a peg because we need to be. <laughs> and and um, so, you know, I started writing different stuff and then I just still wasn't feeling it. And, you know, of course, the uh, bout of depression I had in 2023 just pretty much laid me out. I, mm. I could work and eat and sleep and that was about it. Um, so I was, I was in such bad shape that i was there was no getting me out i probably did like three open mics in 2023 damn and wow. um then you know i started you know going to a therapist and talking to friends and stuff like that getting my meds changed and and good stuff that and just finally deciding hey i'm not gonna be this guy anymore so then i started getting back into it and now I, you know i my expectations were really low and but then i really started having fun it's about the time you guys started getting on the scene and i started really having fun watching you and then i had a, a ton of fun playing around with you know different jokes and stuff like that like it, it it's like comedy became fun again and and so that's why i've kind of thrown myself into it more and here I am today. So, Hell yeah. We're, we're glad you're here, man. That's what yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. We're very glad. I remember when I met you, it was at Rocket Republic. Yeah. At that open mic. Yeah. And you came up to me, and I had, like, first started, and you were like, that Sir Mix-a-Lot joke with, yeah. like, the... You know how in rap songs they start with like this is a certified hood classic. Yeah, yeah. my entire joke was like, who would be the board of directors to decide? <laughs> yeah, I never I, heard like, that. Knights I of the that. Round hey, Table. Hey, I did hey, it hey. that one time. I never did it again. Oh, you should pull that back up. Maybe, sure. dude. P Diddy will be on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, you were very supportive. You're very supportive, and uh, that yeah. was a time where I really didn't know anybody who was yeah. doing it yeah yeah i i remember that night I, I never remember the joke until you say it but i remember that night and um i think brandon came along pretty close to that time yeah he may have been at that mic what the rocket republican yeah yeah i was there mm -hmm. I think yeah I and then um i think dom came on like a little bit a couple later. months later um probably a month two, later yeah mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, the mic, you know, there was more mics and stuff like that to do. And, you know, I, I, I just really liked watching you guys. The, the, the thing that, um, the thing I have trouble with is, you know, I'm just not a real social guy and, you know, talking before the mic and talking after the mic and going out, it's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. And, and so a lot of people, I think, get the impression that I just want to go up and, do my thing and I don't care about anybody else and but I really do um and I just really I'm at the point in my life where I just have to be exactly who I am yeah, yeah you know I, sure. can, I can fake it because I'm kind of in a sales role now and I can I can, I can totally turn <laughs> on the charm and and be you know not as uh you know whatever is wrong with me as I am uh, <laughs> but um you know it takes a lot of energy, and so when I'm doing my thing, it's just like, you know, I'm going to be me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You come there, you uh, do your set, and yeah. watch comedians as much as you want to, yeah. then, and then roll out. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Yeah, I love I, <laughs> yeah. I, I love it that you just that's what you do. Like you said, like you said, you don't got time to fucking try to appease everybody yeah. else. Yeah. You do it, and you're funny. Like, yeah. really funny. And you have a joke about it. Yeah. Which is funny. So, this is, this is true. So that joke was the I was doing uh, Jonathan's open mic at the Speakeasy, mm -hmm. and I was 
going to be on the showcase at yeah. Stand Up Live. Yeah, we were on there together. Yeah, and I'm walking up to the stage, and that joke jumped into my head. The whole fucking joke just jumped into my head. <laughs> Part one of the joke, I should say. So the you know I I say do you, do you um, you know my buddy says do you hang around with the young guys after the show? No, um, but the second part where do, do you think you're missing something? That came that came like right after that night, and I was like, do I put this in the showcase? And and after I thought about, it, I was like, I have to. It, it's it, it's almost like it came from the heavens to, <laughs> to, to be told. So yeah, I saw. So I did it there and um, crushed. Yeah, I love I crushed yeah, I one. Uh, yeah. Well, he got the, you got the host the uh, the open mic. Yeah, the best comedian from that showcase. Hell yeah! So he whooped my ass. <laughs> 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 no, but uh you killed it i i could hear uh i can hear the laughs from the green room because i was this is my first time in the green room so i'm staying here that was, that was my first too yeah. was it yours? yeah <laughs> you i know you signed the wall yeah where, somewhere where? i don't know <laughs> <laughs> very small very small print humble size yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. well hell yeah you smashed it and you killed that as as uh the host because that's a yeah. that's a that's a different muscle yeah, and I, I didn't really get a whole lot of expectations, so I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And then Scott said, you can say stuff between the comics. So I just thought, okay, I'll just say ridiculous shit between the comics. <laughs> yeah, and it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, remember, I remember you had a hat that didn't have a logo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Dom Carr, the man with a hat without a logo, because he don't need no damn logo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yo. So I, I you, know, you know, I'm a jazz guy and stuff yeah. like that. And I saw that you uh, do impressions like Dean Martin impressions. Yeah, I don't really do Dean Martin impressions. So I did a, a talk show called the BTB Internet Talk Show during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and I'd have comics on, I'd have other podcasters on, stuff like that. And for some dumbass reason, I decided that Dean Martin was going to be part of the show. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would say, you know. Everybody thought Dean Martin died in 1997. What we didn't know is he was cryogenically frozen, and um, he was cryogenically frozen. And just a few weeks ago, he was thawed out. He doesn't have any money, so he asked me if I if he could stay with me for a while. And here's Dean Martin. Hey, I'm Dean. So it was a very, it was a purposefully bad impression of Dean Martin. And I know nothing about Dean Martin other than oh. I listen to his albums um, and I watch a Dean Martin roast and shit like that. Um, so people would ask me, you know, what about your first wife? I'm like, I don't know who the fuck she is. <laughs> you know, well, being cryogenically frozen means that uh, I forgot some stuff. You know, so I would just I would just bring that up. And it was like it was almost like an Andy Kaufman type thing okay. because the guests didn't like it, the <laughs> listeners didn't like it, and I kept doing it. I love that, dude. That I love that. that. That is my favorite thing. Like even I have jokes that don't work. I have a lot of those. But I tell them for that reason specifically. That's how like yeah I got started with comedy. It's like I'd be out with my friends at a restaurant. The waitress would come over, and I lived with my grandparents. And elderly people do this thing where they like to tell you all the tragic shit that's happened to them in their oh, life yeah, or yeah, some yeah. horrendous medical problem they have. Yeah. And so the the uh, server would come over and be like, oh, do you need anything? I'd be like, yeah, can I get a refill on Diet Pepsi? And my mother left me as a child. <laughs> <laughs> and they say it just like that. And my friends are like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it made them angry, but I, it brought me so much joy. I Sometimes you got to do something for you. Yeah, yeah. It's about self-care. It's about self-care. <laughs> That's funny. Though. I like no, that. I had people like before the show because they had watched it. They were like, "Why do you still do that Dean Martin shit?" You know, it, <laughs> it was never funny. It's never going to be funny. And I like, yeah, I know. I'm gonna keep <laughs> That's part of having fun with it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you have to do things that you enjoy, right? Yep. Yeah, even if it's not like it's not going to help you with getting laughs or whatever. Yeah. Like I, you got to say shit like that. It keeps it fun. It keeps for you, it fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did it on the live show on our first big show. Talked Which about one? the ball wax. Oh yeah. Oh, when I tell you, I just I, just, <laughs> I say this stupid shit. I'm like, uh, 
I like to sit like if I don't have anything to do for three days and not take a shower. And mm-hmm. you get like they call it ball cheese, but I think it's more of a wax. <laughs> You know, and then everybody I tell it to gets extremely grossed out. Uh-huh. I saw the opportunity at the live show, and this uh-huh. one girl that was sitting in the front, when I tell you, she was like, oh, like yeah. so disgusted. And then, but in my heart, I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got a reaction. Yeah, yeah I got a reaction. That's what I thought. You always use the same word when doing the ball wax thing. You say that it smells intoxicating. Yeah. yeah. It is. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes it. I know it. you love it. Look at him smiling right uh-huh. now. <laughs> it brings me joy. <laughs> I like when you do that. It'll wake you up. It'll like oh, yeah. It'll yeah. open you up. It'll open you up. It'll open you up. Open you up. That's kind of like JJ's uh, pussy suckles. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. The cool I cycles. love that. I love that. I'll never too. stop doing that. That'll be my closer for the next 13 years. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Every time you say, do you experience a... Uh, what do you what do you say coochie sickles? Do you have you ever experienced coochie sickles? Yeah, and yeah, then they'll, they'll look no, at me like this. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I was listening to my uh, one of my favorite bands, Volk, this morning, and uh, <laughs> oh, snap. best damn two piece band in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what do you who'd you compare them to? Uh, uh, Chains, uh, Allison Chains. No, not Allison uh, Chains. You, you, who, who'd you compare him to when you're know. talking to Sam Talent? Oh shit, I don't remember. I don't know, but it does sound like who you, who you were because yeah. I listened to him too. They call like, themselves Cow Punk, and uh, Cow Punk. It's just, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is nice. I was listening to it this morning. I was yeah. listening to. Uh, I think maybe the White stuff. Stripes and like. Yeah, Dwight, that's what it was. That's what you said. The White, white Stripes. Stripes and Dwight Yoakam or uh-huh. something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I absolutely fell in love with them it's kind of a neat kind of a neat story so i discovered this band brother oh brother who played in goshen at the, there's a record shop there that uh they pull all the records out and have bands there sometimes and they played that and another two-piece band very um psychedelic uh fuzz guitar very hard and um so they the guitar player for them also runs a record company called romanus records or romanus or whatever the fuck it is and (laughs) he does these custom vinyl prints so he he does it um for bands he does one comedian i can't remember the comedian's name but like um he did one for uh, King Gizzard and the uh, Wizard Lizard Wizard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So he does he does custom stuff for them every single album. But he did one with them where I think there was a drop of real blood in it, and and then there was red stuff in it. He did one that had lights with a remote control that you could change the, the lights and the colors and the strobes and stuff like that. That's so he do, he does this, and he's actually gotten really really um hot in the last few years he wasn't so much then he was just starting out but volk was on his label so they had romanus 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 fest in indianapolis years ago and we drove down for it and that's the first time i saw volk and i didn't even know who they were Mm -hmm. and and they're in they're in this uh little record shop doing um uh, I think Honey Bee was a song yep. that, that I That's heard That's what I first. listened to. Yeah, and I was like, holy fuck, I got to you know, I gotta know these people. And so, you know, I started talking to him. We became friendly, and I've gone to see him in Nashville a couple times. And Oh, so you actually talked to the, like, really talked to him? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> Chris and Elliot, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't dislike the band. I know them, but... But if I didn't know them, I'd still love the band. And, uh, you know, they're they're out there. They're working with the Super Suckers and um, uh, another band right now. But I, I just want to see them, like, be the headliner. And, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I think they're the best thing ever. And Brother or Brother's really good, too, but they don't play as much as they used to because Chris is doing the records so much. I thought this was uh, this is you talking about brother or brother. Yeah, I thought that was Tim Dillon, like he lost weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then you got Mad Dog from Russellin. <laughs> so a friend of mine in South Bend, so he had the bar that I did the comedy shows, but it was a rock bar and it had like the best sound system in the world. So twice I had those guys 
come up and play. And one time it was like, I think it was February, and there was a really bad snowstorm. I was surprised they even made it. And there was like maybe 25 of us in the audience. And I was like, man, you know, I'm glad you're getting a minimum because Jeff, my friend that had the bar, has a minimum. So I knew at least they were getting paid to come. And uh, But they put on a great show. And then they came back, and I think there was even less people there. And it was like in the summer. And I was like, what the fuck? And I, I'm like, I'm never going to recommend a band play a bar anymore because apparently I don't have any taste in music. <laughs> but, but but they came both times and, and knocked it out of the park. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So is cow punk, is that like southern style punk Yeah, music? I mean, uh, so these guys, I mean, when they started, they did like, you know, traditional acoustic shit. Mm. um they met in germany and they i mean they they were just doing like regular kind of country bluegrass type stuff and then they've morphed into this and you know there's a country twang to a lot of it but a lot of it's you know it's so fuzzed up and um you know just really psychedelic and nuts that um it it, it, it's more on the punk than the cow i think but Mm -hmm. yeah it's it's good stuff yeah. Have you heard of the new blossoming genre referred to as y'alternative? No. What? <laughs> it's like southern alternative. They call it y'alternative. It's this whole subculture of like people from the south yeah. who have like, you know, southern aspects about them but are also like super alternative. They like That's cool. They I might like, like this. Emo, I might like emo country yeah. music and shit like that. It's yeah. pretty it's pretty good. Yeah. I, just, yeah, I these, love uh, alternative these my guys. favorite. Uh, this was probably music. a muscle shoal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Go down to the out. picture of the... Yeah, I see what you're looking at, Brandon. <laughs> All right. Is that what you wanted me to click on? No, God. Oh, oh, we're trying to be serious. <laughs> she, she is not wearing the pants that I like. I was just about to <laughs> oh, say that. Yeah. The advances in women's pants. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, you got to come out and see Scott Curtis. He has a <laughs> yes. whole bunch of good shit. Did you, uh, did you ever follow, uh, find the Batman ring you swallowed? Yeah, I was wondering oh, about Jesus that. <laughs> did you pass Man, that? how deep did you guys go? <laughs> deep, deep. Dang. So no, I so I <gasps> swallowed it. My mom grabbed me and she had nails like this. She grabbed me and put her finger down my throat, got it with her nail and scratched my throat at the same time. Oh, and shit. so I didn't actually it didn't actually go all the way down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did I talk about that shit? I didn't, so what like, year was that? Uh, I was probably four or five years okay, old. Okay, so one, two. So you were born. So this is 1963, 1964. I was born in 64. No, so oh shit, I thought it, was it would have been like 68. 68. Yeah. 68 That's a good year. Yeah. He's he he's the oldest young person. Yeah. In the world. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you, you see, about you, old you, shit. Well, yeah. Whenever we play this back, I'm gonna go to his uh his camera. Whenever you start talking about Johnny <laughs> yeah. Carson and shit, <laughs> yeah, his eyes are just like he's yeah. so ready to come out. <laughs> Yeah, and you said you're a Richard Pryor fan, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. after this, yeah, because I got the original uh, album of that niggas crazy, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, I got a bunch of his albums, like especially the one in 1968 that he like first released. I can yeah. see, man, this and Red Fox too, if you like him. Yeah. So um, Red Fox and Flip Wilson were actually what? my first comedians. Really? Really? My first first because my mom and dad had their eight tracks. Wow. And um, Flip Wilson did a joke about. Um, some guy that had a had a, a knob in his belly button and people kept asking him uh you know what it's about what it's about and then somebody finally grabbed the uh knob and his ass fell off and, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> it's not funny the way i say it but flip, <laughs> flip wilson was really oh, he good. was funny as hell and red fox you know i just watched he, after Sanford and Son, he had like a variety show. Um, there's some of that in YouTube, and I was watching some of that shit. And that guy is just, I mean, he's like the original, like, OG, I don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. Um, and he's just up there on stage. And what, one of the ones I watched, uh, somebody asked him, will you ever go back to Sanford and Son? And he, they're taping, and he's like, Fuck CBS. <laughs> <laughs> so they had the bleep man. And, and, he, he, and then he said, uh, no, ma'am, I will never be going back to that place. <laughs> I heard that got him in trouble, though, because you remember at the end, like he died yeah. with like no money, really, because those taxes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, that was. Well, he was, you know, he, he was a party guy, too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, 
I love that. I, I loved him. And I, you know, I never miss Sanford and Son. You know, I, I, I love that. Grady was great. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Lamont was Lamont was really just a shitty actor. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he was reading cue cards all the time. But um, when you go back and watch it when you're a kid, you don't notice that. But mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Red Fox was great. I loved him. Of the old of the old timers, Red Fox is always going to be my favorite because, like you said, he just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, and he's not. He's this is what because I'm not like this, but uh, some people are just naturally funny. Yeah. You know, you got Bernie Mac. Yeah, you got you got mm -hmm. you got these people who are just like. If you were sitting in the room with them, I don't care who's in there. How many, whoever the greatest comedians are, they're yeah. going to be the funniest people yeah. in the room. Yeah, and I yeah. love those type of people. Yeah. I love to be around them. Yeah, yeah. Red Fox was was fantastic, and Flip Wilson was very underrated. But what, both what, of what them. Was Flip, what, what else was Flip in? He had his own show, the yeah. Flip Wilson show. I yeah, that. yeah. He had he had the Flip Wilson wanna, show. Wanna, it's a it's a movie. I'm thinking. I'm finna see for you. He guessed it. He guessed on a lot of like Bob Hope shows uh, and stuff. Oh, like that's that. why I, I knew him. Yeah. I used to watch. Uh, I'm 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 not that old, but I like I grew up on when you were talking about Dean Dean Martin, Dean mm -hmm. Martin, Jerry Lewis. Every yeah. every movie they ever made, my mom had them in uh -huh. a in a cassette tape. Yeah. Like uh, the one they went, the Navy gets the gravy, <laughs> yeah. the Army gets the beans, beans, beans. <laughs> and I used to just love it. I'm like, <laughs> this is in the '90s too, and I'm up here talking about Navy. It's a black and white show, <laughs> yeah. I mean movie. But I loved uh, and then Nick and we got lucky to have. Nick. I don't know if they have that now. We had Nick at night, uh -huh. like Bob, mm -hmm. Bob Hope, Bob Newhart, uh, love Mary, Bob Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah. I love Lucy. Taxi, which was Taxi, was I probably shouldn't have been watching, but I love, I love yeah. Taxi. Yeah, uh, yeah, all that stuff. I don't think do they have that for you guys? Yeah, we there was Nick at Night when I was growing up, and yeah. it was like the George Lopez show. Oh and, uh, dang, that's yeah. Low Rider, Full uh, House. What else? What else is on there? Full, Full House. House. I, don't I love remember, dude. I can't remember the names of the shows, but mm -hmm. I remember watching them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Friends yeah. was on there. Oh my god, uh, Friends. Now SpongeBob is on there, which is weird. Well, yeah, I mean the that's, older episodes because man. they got some crazy shit in those, man. Yeah. yeah, they really do. Maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, I would I would watch like or uh, listen to my grandpa's CDs, his comedy CDs. We'd listen to them together, but they were all clean comics. But they were hilarious, yeah. man. Hilarious, like those storytelling. Like yeah. mm -hmm. not everything's funny, but it leads up to this big goofy punchline, yeah. and it's just in your face kind of slapstick stuff. Mm. But I love that. Yeah, I still listen to those. So uh, you oh, like uh, you read a lot? Yeah. Uh, Stephen King, your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite book by Stephen or series? Well, it's the uh, whole um, um, Dark Tower series, the Gunslinger mm. series. Yeah. You, you didn't like when they re when they made the movie? No. Yeah. A, a lot. A lot of people. A lot of people did not so like that. Was that. A bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> but Stephen King movies, uh, I, I like Thinner. Uh, Thinner was good. Thinner was good, right? Yeah. Cujo. Cujo uh, was fucking awesome. Uh, what's the high, high, uh, with the cars and shit? Oh, uh, Christine. Christine was yeah. No, not Christine. Uh, I have, uh. Oh, Maximal Overdrive? Maximal Overdrive. overdrive. Yeah. Maximal. So that, that wasn't, I don't think that came from a book. It might have came from a short story, but, oh. um, yeah, I think it was a short story of his. But, um, that movie, it was so funny. It just got totally panned by the critics when it came out. And I still watch that one still. Have while. you ever it, seen it? Yeah. What's it called? Maximum Overdrive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's whenever. Is it all electronics? Yeah, all electronics. All electronics turn against everybody. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good. That's it, it's, it probably still holds up. I haven't yeah. seen it in a while. Yeah, I remember that great. Yes, yeah. dude. Uh, the truck. The, <laughs> dude, and they just come after you. And I yeah. think they're stuck in a, in a diner. Yeah, it's yeah. a gas station diner. A gas yeah. station yeah. diner. Yeah. Dude, it was good. Yeah. Thinner, have you ever seen Thinner? Is yeah. that the one where the guy keeps stepping on the scale and he gets closer and closer to zero? Yeah, yeah, God, he he gets a hex put on him. He gets, yeah, he gets cursed. Yeah, and uh, it's I, I know that I, that's that's I might my be favorite of one. Something else. Yeah, elevate. I think it's called elevation or no. elevate or something. But my favorite that. Stephen King is 1922. The short story, and they made a movie about it on Did Netflix. I even read that? That's good. I mean, it's really What's good. That about? 1922, dude. That's good. They're in like. A rural area there in a cornfield. Yeah. The this isn't a spoiler. It happens within like the first five minutes of the movie, or mm -hmm. maybe not the first five minutes. But the son and the dad end up killing the mom because she's like a bitch. Yeah. Damn. And the guilt kind of just eats away at them, and they start hallucinating and stuff. Oh, it's wow. really good. This was on yeah Netflix. It's yeah. One, one of the few good Netflix originals. Yeah. The short story is really good too. Is it? It's, it's really good. Though. Yeah. What's that? The lawnmower. Oh, dude. Yeah. Man. That was nuts. Jeff Faye. 
Yeah, yeah. That was his best movie, I think. Really? Yeah. I think I need to watch that again. Yeah, I, have, I haven't seen Lama Man in so long, but I remember those two. That dude was in everything in the, like the late eighties. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that is not what I thought it was going to look like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like that Owen Wilson movie. I forgot what they called it. With that's the one that uh, Stephen King sued to have his name removed. For real? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, yeah. was that bad? Dude? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> look at those graphics over there. Dude. Let me click on that one real quick. What the? <laughs> Like so there's two. one there's one out and this came out probably six or seven years ago called Cell and it's got um, the J Lo. It's got um, what's what's the guy's name? He was in um, Say Anything, the one with the boombox. Kuzak, right here. This John right here. Kuzak and um, Sam Samuel L. Jackson. Sa- Samuel L. Jackson. And that so that movie got panned. I thought it was pretty good. So I like really bad horror movies anyway. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I watch I'll watch the ones on Tubi and all that kind of shit. But oh, um, shit. this you movie go was deep. okay. But this the the book um, Stephen King wants to remove himself from it because this is when he was this is after the accident and he was on drugs really bad. Mm-hmm. So he got hooked on the pain pills and stuff like that. And he wrote this while he was on pain pills. So. He he hates the book, so therefore he hates the movie. But he he uh, I thought it was a pretty good book, <laughs> and the movie was good too. Yeah. I'm gonna check that out. You, Me too. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this was Brandon. You probably know what I'm talking about. Epic rap battles of history. Oh man, I used have to watch you guys that heard of this? Mm-hmm. It's a YouTube channel. Check it was super famous, like for my generation. They it was they would take two people from throughout history and they would freestyle rap battle against each other. Mm. And it'd be people pretending to be them. There was one, it was Stephen right. King versus Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> and Edgar Allan Poe shit on Stephen King for one of those uh, movies. And yeah, it was, it really was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll love it, Dom. Trust me, man. Look, 54 million <laughs> views, dude. Damn. Yeah. Those are Super Bowl numbers, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Because I like, like, uh, like they, they do something else like this. Like with the uh, superheroes or uh, like a, the death battle where they fight or oh, talking about celebrity, injustice that, celebrity death match oh shit I remember those days these are, these <laughs> videos are very well made they're hilarious yeah. the raps like they they go deep cuts they, it, my favorite is Marilyn Monroe versus Cleopatra because it's the most <laughs> random shit <laughs> but it's just really good writing that's really cool I'll check that out all right Scott this is the end of the episode. When you see uh, ghostly Muhammad Ali, that means it's top time to wrap it up. What is the? It's the black and white Muhammad oh, Ali. Oh yeah, this is a Target exclusive limited edition black and white <laughs> Muhammad Ali. There's two versions. You got the colored one, and then you got the black and white. When he uh, beat Sonny Liston, I got that. We one. don't uh, say colored. <laughs> oh no! Uh, <laughs> it's outdated man. Well, paint it, paint it, paint it. I guess you're black, so you can say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's funny is that Brandon's the most likely to join a white nationalist group. No. <laughs> yeah, you get tricked. You we get got tricked. The WWE Network, and we got weed. <laughs> I'll be like, how and much they weed? have those. Yeah, they, they have those. I remember when you knew pe- you people knew your place. <laughs> <laughs> And he's talking to his dad. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, God. All right, so what you going to do right now? Anything you got? This will be out on next Monday. Okay. Uh, anything you got um, coming up, your socials, anything you want them to follow right in that camera right there. Hi. I, uh, I, I've i got socials, and I'm going to be on a show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be at the pizza place Grimaldi's on the 29th of this month and I've got I guess my Instagram is what I do the most and that is I've changed the name four times and I think it's what is it Scott Curtis's we skits or uh, it's oh. a Instagram is open mic diaries yeah, it used to be but now oh. I just changed it Scott Scott comedy skits Scott Comedy Skits. I'm still going to do Open Mic Diaries, but I haven't recorded one of those in a long time. And I only do what I want to do now. Um, So (laughs) I am so glad I don't podcast anymore. I I, I am so glad. 
I, I miss it so little. And I've got <laughs> probably $3,000 worth of podcast equipment sitting there doing not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to invest with you, Scott. Yeah, yeah you, you can don't. <laughs> a joint venture. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for coming on. This was a yeah, blast. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, really you, good time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I like you guys slightly more than I did at the beginning. The, Very slightly. Don't stop them. Don't stop the mic. All right, so this is what we're going to do. The, uh, the uh, like it's, it's over. That, that episode okay. is going to be over right mm-hmm. now. But right now, where we do uh, the beef. Yeah, the beef. Yeah. I want to see if like uh, we do something like uh, you say, like don't cut me off. I'm trying okay. to make the shit. You know what I'm saying? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And then you you guys be like, hey guys, chill out. Me and Brandon just look at each other. The fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do that. Right. Yeah. So then I wrote that uh, edibles joke. You remember that? I love that yeah, joke. So, do you want me to finish a story on this shit or what? He was just saying he loved the yeah, joke. Yeah. He was yeah. just trying to help you, man. Yeah, but when I'm in the middle of a thought. I am trying to say what I need to say, and you're. Oh, I love that shit. What? What's up with you, JJ? That's encouragement, man. Yeah, you're trying to do this a podcast. I'm gonna ask you some stuff. Trying to, trying to just be support. Be fucking so, fun. So you guys aren't going to let me talk then? I, Jesus I, Christ. I drove all the way out here from South Huntsville, and you're not going to let me talk. I knew it was going to be like this. You, you can talk, but I mean, shit, man, come on. It's your interview, man. Yeah, we, yeah, it's my interview. So what I want you to do is interview me. So what you do, this is how podcasts work. You ask a question, okay. yeah. and then you allow the guests to actually answer the question. All right, I got a question without for you, man. the fuck on their hey, stuff. Hey, calm down. Why are you being such an asshole? That's my yeah. question. Why am I being an asshole? What? Why? Why would you have me here if you're not going to let me talk? We were nice enough to invite you on the yeah, fucking we're pod. To help you, man. If you want to do the pod your way, then do your own fucking podcast. Yeah, yeah. Your your third rate comedy translates to this fucking shitty podcast. No, oh, and the open mic diaries were hilarious. Yeah, it's not supposed to be hilarious. It's supposed to be teaching. Teaching we, comedy. Teach. We oh. filled out everything for your writer, man. All I asked for was silly putty, and you guys didn't even give me that shit. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about quitting comedy anyway because you three seem to show up everywhere. Oh, well, we're gonna keep showing up, buddy. Out, and and, and you're always up. You're, yeah. you're always looking at me. Yeah. What? what like I'm some kind of a freak just because <sighs> I'm old. Come on, man. I'm an old soul. That doesn't make sense. Come I'm on. Out. Oh, okay. You're gonna walk out? Yeah. Walk in out the middle of the show. The first fucking walk. Come out. on, man. Come on. You. Fuck you! Unbelievable. <laughs>